11 o'clock, the league and team discipline just coming down. Toyota thons on. Look at all those Toyotas. Bet you could get a great deal in there. Yeah, we should go check it out. Impressive. Sometimes you just have to snap them out of it a little bit. Right now, get a special sales event 1,000 cash back from Toyota on a Tacoma or an off-road ready 4Runner or pick a sporty RAV4 and get up to 3,000 cash back. Tis the season. Toyota-thon is on. Toyota, let's go places. Only on ABC7. It's just a miracle that I'm just here breathing. Months ago, he was on life support after a car plowed into him and his friends on the way to school. His incredible recovery story. And developing now, another NFL star accused of attacking a woman. Today, he was sent home in the middle of practice. But did the team know for nine months? Breaking news on his discipline moments away. He drove over me and went right into the apartment. Slamming right into an apartment. A 12-year-old girl rushed to the hospital. Her family just now returning. From ABC 7 News, this is a breaking news alert. And that breaking news we begin with as we come on the air at 11 o'clock. There is new video coming into ABC 7 right now. Two violent attacks to tell you about. Both in D.C., one in South Beach, the other in Northwest. Let's take you right to Logan Circle. Look at this video here. Two men pull a gun on a woman who tries to fight back on P Street. This happened Monday. They start beating her and run off with a backpack and suitcase and 5,000 bucks. The victim, he's going to be okay, but if any of these men look familiar, call police. And now on the opposite side of the city, the victim sees a man following him and tries to close the door. But that man able to open the other door and get inside the building. He eventually takes out a gun, shoots at the wall and threatens the victim, then steals a laptop. Police haven't made any arrests here either. Mm. Well, breaking now from the NFL, Kansas City Chiefs is releasing their star running back, Kareem Hunt, after this video surfaced online. And in the video, you can see he is kicking a woman while she's down, among other things. This happened way back in February. Just today, he was sent home in the middle of his practice. The NFL put him on the exempt list, meaning that he cannot participate until a full investigation is complete. And developing in Montgomery County, three people hurt, including a 12-year-old girl, when a Subaru smashed through a condo in Damascus. ABC 7 first on the scene this evening at 4 o'clock. And tonight, an update from Tom Rousey. And Tom, we're hearing she's out of the hospital. Uh, she is out and she's staying with her grandmother in another unit in this same condo building right here. By the way, when this happened, the driver of the car, he hit a window over here to start. He was just trying to drive his garbage to the dumpster. He did that and then we're told he backed up and everything would have been fine. But then he apparently hit the gas again and went completely inside the condo unit. Elisha Melvin says at first the elderly driver had only done a little damage. He backs out or whatever. I'll go upstairs, go get my jacket or whatever. Come back down. Now he in the living room. Chad Carpenter says he had just gotten run over. As soon as I crested the front dead center of his vehicle, RPMs revved up. I went backwards, fell between the 4 by 4 pylons. He drove over me and went right into the apartment. Witnesses say the older man may have had a medical episode. Carpenter said the man said he was not on drugs or alcohol. Then he looked at me and he goes, it was me. I'm sorry, it was me. He said I thought that I had it in reverse, but he had it in drive. Two females inside were hurt, including Pamela Tibbs' 12-year-old granddaughter. Her foot got pinned in between the, the, couch. the couch and the wall. Right. Montgomery County Fire and Rescue says the girls and the driver were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. We're told the family that lives here had already fallen on hard times, and now they can't stay in their home. It's dramatic. For. I mean, this child has just turned 12 and she lost her mother in May. And some of the other folks who were inside when this happened just walked in to look at the damage. You know, Pamela Tibbs, who you heard from at the end of that story there, tells me this family has just been through so much, far more than just even the death of that little girl's mother. Just a lot of tragedies. They say it's been a terrible year. And now this happens. They say they're going to be trying to raise money online, but right now they just want folks' prayers. Reporting live in Damascus, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Tom, thanks. And just today, Devin Garcia home from the hospital. Look at that smile. It's good to see.